I built Debug GPT to prove to you guys what AI can do today. Let me show you. Application. We want to know if it can replace us, and if it can't, we want to know if it can help us. What we did is we created an automatic debugger. It has access to my code, and anytime it sees a bug, it will fix it automatically for me. We'll be going through four levels. Easy, medium, hard, and extra hard. Let's go. And I want to see if it's good enough to replace my job and if it's good enough to give me back my time. Sure, let's start by getting the list of bugs in the application. The first error is that there is a typo in the closing tag of the first element. It should be div instead of div. We need to fix the typo in the closing tag of the first element and replace div with div. We have successfully debugged the next JS application. There's three important things that every AI needs. It needs a model, it needs tools, and it needs agents. So the model is something like ChatGPT uses. It will use GPT-4 or it will use GPT-3.5 Turbo. In our case, we're using GPT-3.5 Turbo. I need to know what the bugs are in the application before I can debug it. Please run the Get Bugs tool to get the list of bugs in the application. The error message says that the properties container and title do not exist on component slash app.module.scss. That means that the app.tsx file is trying to use styles that are not defined in the app.module.scss file. To fix this bug, I need to define the container and title styles in the app.module.scss file. I should read the file first to see what style are already defined, and then add the missing styles. To fix the bug, I need to add the following styles to the app.module.scss file. Container. Title. I should write these styles to the app.module.scss file using the write file tool. I have successfully debugged the application by fixing the previous bugs. Okay, so I'll try to explain how it works using sticks. Bear with me. This is debug GPT, but debug GPT alone can't do shit. It's just an AI, just like ChatGPT. We want more. We want to give it tools to be able to achieve more. So we give them tools. So tools are these little things. Tools are like getting on the web. So like being able to look Google Chrome or being able to write code in a file or being able to just access some files. To take it another notch, we give them agents. Like you can see, Debug GPT is the boss and the agents are his employees. So they're still AIs, but they're less powerful. And they have like one specific task. Give this agent access to this tool to be able to look the web and this tool to be able to look in our database. And you got yourself an agent that's the data researcher. So anytime that Debug GPT needs to look something up, you will ask the data researcher instead of trying to do it himself. So you have the master, debug GPT, who's best at debugging code. And then when he has to do other things that's not debugging code, he'll ask other agents. But he still has the tools here because debug GPT, what he does is he debugs the code. So he has the tool to look at the code and he has the tool to write some code. Do you get it? Do these sticks like help make any sense? I need to know what the bugs are so that I can fix them. The error message says that the header body and footer components are not defined. This could be a problem with the import statement or with the components themselves. To fix this, I will check the import statements and make sure they are correct. Write file app.tsx import header from header import body from body import footer from footer. Now, I will check if the errors have been fixed by running the get bugs tool again. The error message says that the file header.module.scss cannot be found. This means that the file is missing or has been deleted. To fix this, I will recreate the file with the correct name and add the necessary styles to it. The error message says that the module body.module.scss cannot be found. I will recreate the file with the correct name and add the necessary styles to it. 
the error message says that the file footer.module.scss cannot be found. I will recreate the file with the correct name and add the necessary styles to it. Now, I will check if the errors have been fixed by running the get bugs tool again. The get bugs tool returned an empty list, which means that there are no more bugs in the application. I think it's safe to say that debug GPT has done a great job so far. We can really see that there's a potential for it to replace the odd jobs and the things we don't like to do. I know it's scary to think that AI may replace us one day, but I think that in the meantime, if we can make it replace the things we don't like, it'd be a great addition to our life. Here I'm trying to build something to show you visually what I think AI, and in this case Debug GPT, can do for our life. I think it gives us so much more time and that with all this time we can be one, more productive, but more happy too. So all the things we didn't like to do, we just won't do anymore. I think a big part of productivity is staying at the flow. You don't want to get in and out of it all the time. You want to get in, stay in for a few hours, and then get out. And I think, and I don't think it's just about AI doing things we don't like. I think that's a cool part. But the better one is having AI do things we're not good at. That's pretty powerful because a job that would require like three key skills could now maybe just require two. And the third one that you don't have, well, AI is taking care of it. And the two that you really do, then you're getting selected for this job. So maybe AI will get us back to like what jobs really are meant to be, being you doing the thing you're the most good at. Sure, let's start by running the get bugs tool command to see what errors the application has. The error message says that it cannot find the module component slash add. This means that the import statement in page.tsx is incorrect. I need to update the import statement to the correct path. I will update the import statement to import app from component slash app slash app. The error says that it cannot find the names header component, body component and footer component. This means that the import statements in app.tsx are incorrect. I need to update the import statements to the correct paths. Great, we have fixed the first bug by importing the header component, body component and footer component in the app.tsx file. Now, let's run the get bugs tool command again to see if there are any more errors. Command, get bugs. Let's fix the second bug. The error message says that it cannot find the module react confetti in the file body.tsx. This means that we need to install the react confetti package. We can use the run shell tool command to install it. Command, run shell npm install react confetti. The react confetti package has been installed successfully. Now, let's fix the third bug. The error message says that the JSX attributes width and height must only be assigned a non-empty expression. This means that we need to pass a value to the width and height attributes. We see that the file header component is missing from the file system. We need to create it with the right file tool command. We can see that the file footer.module.scss does not exist. We need to create the file and add the definition for .container and .title to it. We can now run the get bugs tool command to see if there are any more errors. The get bugs tool returned an empty list, which means that there are no more bugs in the application. We have successfully debugged the next JS application. it really worked. So with complex application, Debug GPT was still able to make it work. So that's it. That's the end of Debug GPT. Maybe AI will give us more time, time to do fun things, time to work on the things we're good at. Maybe just give us time to enjoy life a little bit more. Thanks guys.